So in light of what transpired in the previous video, I'm going to sound like a big silly man for what I'm about to say, but actually, it's not so silly when you sit down and think about it, have a, th have a thought about it. Um, I'm ignoring this convoy, and I'm doing that for the reason that I set out on this patrol to attack a task force, not a convoy, which we have done oh so many times in the past, but a task force, dagnabbit. And a task force we shall have. Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work out. So my plan is actually I'm going to avoid this uh, straight here. And I want to go here, basically, I guess is the first thing I'll say. I want to go here. And the reason for that is task forces tend to spawn either out of Liverpool or Blackpool, I guess. Maybe it's probably Liverpool. Uh, also out of Bristol or out of Scapa Flow and Lock U here. With that in mind, um, these task forces here tend to go this way, and then they end up somewhere here. Sometimes they'll go west from here, sometimes they'll keep going into here, or into here, I guess. Um, so having us here, uh, listening on our radio for uh, convoys, or convoys, for task force updates, uh, we'll be able to say, ah, we'll go this way. However, they also come out of uh, Bristol and Liverpool, and then they head up this way through here, and then through here. Or sometimes they go out into the Atlantic. Either way, we want to be in position to attack them. So this little area, I don't know what this is called, this uh, body of water here, has a nice little island there, um, which I will name Spunkmeyer Island. It's a potato, or is it a cookie? Nom nom nom. Anyways, we're going to go into this bay, Spunkmire Bay, and hang out here. And the reason that's also a good idea, well, obviously, it's just to get us out of the way of traffic. So we're going to go there. The reason I'm not going this way is because of this uh, convoy. I'm expecting that they're going to go through the strait here. And this is basically just going to cause a traffic jam for us. We want to get around them, and I'm willing to... <laughs> to go to some lengths to uh, go around them and to get ahead of them. And that's actually why I'm going uh, ahead full here, is that I just want to have nothing to do with them, if at all possible. So once we get to about here, I'll probably notch it back down to a head one-third. But that's why things are the way they are. That's what I intend to do. That's who I am. That's what I be, etc. Okay, so that's the plan. We're going to go that way and hopefully sink ourselves a task force. We are now in the Firth of Clyde, and I don't think Clyde knows about it. Don't tell him. Um, so that convoy that was in the Hebrides here is slowly making its way. We definitely outran them. I didn't really probably need to go as fast as I did, but I did it. I'm proud I did it. I'm standing by it. So we're just going to hang out here and, I don't know, if we don't get any contacts relating to a task force. I might just say forget about it and go for a convoy such as this one. Uh, I had one earlier uh, that was here and was heading this way too so we might go for that one as well but uh, meanwhile we're just gonna sit here by this little turd nugget island. I guess we'll just sail around and whoa that looks like a guy with a beak eating a peanut. I'd never have noticed that before. See, there's a little peanut there. He's going to eat it. Okay, anyways. Uh, we're going to hang out here. Hope for a task force um, somewhere. Could be coming out of Lock U here. Going like this, maybe. That would be great. Although it probably will just go like this. And in that case, we'll have a hard time catching up to it. Or they'll come out of Liverpool and they'll go like this. Or like this. And again, that would be difficult to catch. But we'll at least be in a better position, I think, to catch more convoys or task forces i'm so used to hunting convoys it's not really uh, coming naturally to me to say oh we're gonna just hunt a task force down you know just a giant naval fleet but you know so i think i'll just hang out here for two days or so um might move a little bit slow we have had a lot of uh merchant shipping and that's already been really tempting to shoot at but again i'm trying to prioritize um why am I... I don't need to make such an elaborate design. I could just really kind of do this if I wanted to. Um, actually, 
Let's avoid that island. Probably a bad idea to run into that. Uh, we've been running into a lot of merchant contacts and the occasional warship, uh, usually a motorboat that I am unable to see, which is how I know it's a motorboat. Um, so it's this area is actually probably really excellent hunting in general, just all around here because everything has to go through here. It's a nicely confined space. So just a pro tip for you out there who are learning to play. If you want guaranteed merchants, go here. With that said, it's also very dangerous. So don't go here. Disregard everything I say if you don't already. Okay, so anyways, we're going to hang out here and hopefully run into... Uh, a task force report. If not, then we'll just figure something else out. It's only been a few hours since we got here, but I have gotten an updated uh, contact report on this convoy. It's heading east at about seven knots, and it's not going to go due east because then it'll run into the Mull of Kintyre here, which would be a bad idea. So um, I've kind of changed my mind about this whole task force thing because I don't know. Just I'm not I'm not too hopeful about it. So and I have no reason to be. Our tonnage gods have failed us. So we're just gonna take whatever they're giving us. Um, so this thing is heading at about this convoy is heading at about um, seven knots, which is roughly equivalent to 13 kilometers an hour. This would put them here in approximately uh, 11 hours. I'm moving uh, at a head slow while I'm poking around here. But I will uh, probably increase the head one third and try to intercept them in here because I think this would be actually a pretty good place to take a shot at them. So I figure once I get to about this flag here, I'll increase speed and try to intercept them. Uh, they're not gonna; they're probably going to be a little bit later than this. They'll probably be uh, in 13 hours, probably about here because they're going to go east and then they're going to have to turn. It's not a straight line, obviously. So. That's the plan now. I'm changing plans constantly, but I think the game really doesn't want me to hunt a task force. I, I'm just getting the feeling that that's something that is not in the cards. So I'm not going to play cards. I'm going to play uh, GURPS. That's the first game that came to mind after cards. I don't know what that says about me. Uh, you know what? I didn't ever really play GURPS. I, I had a friend who played GURPS, and... Uh, <laughs> it's like sounds like a really feeble excuse. Yeah, my I had a friend who played GURPS. I never played GURPS. What are you talking about? Anyways, uh, we're about to go into a turn, so I've done a dive. And there have been a couple of warship contacts in here, but I think this is actually a pretty decent place to be hiding. Um, so if you again, if you ever want to uh, get some guaranteed contact, if you're on a patrol and you just haven't run into anything, this is a pretty decent area. Now you could run into ASW trawlers and torpedo boats and crap like that that you don't want to really have anything to do with, but you will at least have contact. You will make friends, you know, like drug addict, horrible friends, but they're still your friends. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling about GURPS and drugs. Uh, yeah, we're about to. I was hoping that I could stretch this out until I got to this flag. You know what? I might actually just increase. No, I'm not gonna just increase speed. I'm going to shut up is what I'm going to do and probably just rejoin when I run into the convoy. And another example of why this area is pretty dangerous. We have an airplane. We're going to dive. We're not going to crash dive though. And I am actually going to turn us south as well. Even though that runs us into this island. I should probably change that, but meh. Usually the standard practice for when you run into a uh, aircraft like this is to crash dive, although with the bug in the game, uh, there's a bug in the game that causes you to crash dive endlessly, which we've discovered. That guy looks like he's actually moving towards us. Um, there's really not a whole lot we can do. Oh boy. No, wait, no, he's not. I just don't know. I'm not really looking directly at him, I'm looking at our sub, so. Uh huh. We might make it out of this okay. But I do like to change direction though too because if they start on a bombing run they're going to assume that you're heading this way and then if you go this way they're not going to hit you. But that's not always effective. Sometimes they're a little bit more clever uh, and as the war goes on they get much more clever and much more deadly. So we locked out. He didn't even see us. It's fairly dark out even though it's 730. But anywho, uh, that was just a mild interruption. I'm surprised we haven't run into more of those but they'll increase as the war goes on.
All right, well, we're safe for now. I'm going to keep going towards the convoy. So I did a dive to avoid a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a thingamabob, <laughs> using very sophisticated nautical terminology here. But um, we've got an update on the convoy, and it's heading basically southeast. Now, it's not going to be heading exactly southeast, because they never do. They're going to head roughly in line with kind of the contours of the land. So um, I've got them ranged out a bit, but I was just realizing, though, that that time, it, they're going about 7 knots, which is equal to about 13 kilometers an hour. That would put them here in uh, 4 hours, but that's only going to be like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's going to be bright out, so they have a possibility of seeing our torpedoes. So I'm going to actually extend this out to, let's see... This would be five hours, and then this would be six hours, and that probably would be sufficient. So I think I will do that, and then we'll, I don't know if they're exactly going to be following this line, so we'll just mark something like that as being our uh, location. What I did there, I mean, I just inferred where they're possibly going to be, and then I have a three mark or a three kilometer mark here. Three kilometers is pretty close, in my opinion. Some people like to get a lot closer, but um, then I have the arrow pointing roughly perpendicular to where they will be, or where. Oh, shit, <laughs> not explaining this very well. Uh, I put the circle here for th uh, three kilometers. This arrow is pointing roughly perpendicular away from the convoy. That's actually where I want to be so that my shots are roughly perpendicular as well. Um, so that's why I'm going this way. Uh, I'm underwater though, of course, so it's going to take me a little bit of time, but I will go on the surface and catch up with them. And once I do, I will resume the recording. Well, that's real interesting because we have two squares and usually if the game is just updating the position of the convoy, it'll get rid of this square and just move it. But this is seems to indicate that there are actually two convoys in the area, which is a nice little problem to have. It seems as though the tonnage gods have said, no, no, young man, you don't need to be hunting any task forces. We'll give you some convoys. So I think we're going to just finally give in and say, convoys it is. I'll take it. Um, so these guys are also heading southeast at seven knots, just like these guys here. Uh, on the plus side, we know that this is a large convoy, which is always a pleasant development. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing, except um, they're going to be here sooner. Let's, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's still pretty bright out because it's 1134, but they are currently located there, and that'll put them there in about four hours, and that will probably be fine. I think that that'll work. So we're just going to keep going. I'm going ahead slow just because I don't really need to move with any urgency here. Although we are going really slow and it is daylight out and there are aircraft around so that might be a bad call. But And we are also close to an enemy town. This actually does not have a port so it's not a place that is of any interest to us. But it's one thing about the game is it does model cities like Belfast which should have a gigantic port but does not. Oh, game's chugging. That means the convoy is being loaded up. Um, so it doesn't load those up um, with any ships, which is ridiculous because it's Belfast, and Belfast was one of the big, uh, well, at least big ship building centers. I don't know if it had any major traffic during the war, but anywho. So we're about to come into position. Once we get past this flag a little ways. I'm going to put us under and have us go silent. And there you be. There is a warship. That's probably the lead. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it is the lead because it just did a loop. Sometimes they run ahead a ways and then loop back. But then there's a merchant. 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 Yeah, we're, we're seeing the convoy here. And they are heading roughly along this line, which was a good guess on my part. Not really anything more sophisticated than an educated guess. Okay, so we're going to just wait for them to come into position. There's a ton of ships, though, obviously, because it's a large convoy. It's living up to its credentials. 
And we might keep proceeding ahead because they're just a little bit to the left of this line. They are getting closer, so we're going to keep going. We're at a dead stop, and as somebody obnoxiously noted in the comments <laughs> to one of my other videos, a submarine cannot uh, stay stationary underwater, at least these kinds, this older type of submarine can't. Um, so it's unrealistic to be at a dead stop underwater, but I don't care, it's a video game. So, there you go. Uh, we're going to probably put our scope up and unpause the game because you need to do that in order to use your periscope. And let's take a look. The sun is uh, starting to go down. That's actually a bad position to be in. I don't know how well the game models this, but um, if your periscope is facing directly at the sun, obviously there's a higher risk that it's going to reflect light and point it right at your... Uh, whatever you're looking at so you gotta be careful about that so far I just see the lead destroyer and that's probably like a tramp steamer there because of the masts that is a medium cargo and that's a bunch of shit I can't tell what it is so we're gonna wait a couple more minutes and possibly move a little bit ahead it's because I feel like we might be a little bit too far away and we're going to stop because actually we're actually in a good position because that warship is approximately three clicks putting us at about two clicks to when we want to fire uh, putting us two clicks away from when we want to fire at the merchants approximately just a guess okay so that's a small passenger I don't care about that that's a large merchant but that's not in a good firing position that's a large merchant that's a large merchant that's something else there's some scrubby little, that's a small cargo or something. Um, so far those two are the most interesting. That medium cargo is of interest also. We should probably keep going. I'm going to readjust our course a bit. Just doing that on the map because... Uh, wanted to get the angle right and I didn't know how to do it directly on the frickin' uh, dial here. Okay, that's actually probably sufficient. Don't need that. Okay, let's take another look. It's been a couple of minutes and that destroyer hopefully won't see our scope. Medium cargo. I should be probably IDing these. That large merchant is probably my favorite target of the bunch because it's on our side of the convoy and it is a large merchant. Um, we could take a pot shot at the medium here or at him. Hmm. That's a little bit far away though. Actually, this one is closer than... Well, wait, no. That one is still further away. You don't want to let... You ha it's kind of weird determining range on these because the way that you should probably tell is based on how high the masts are off of the water, not how big it appears on your uh, screen. This is possibly a little... They're probably about the same, really. It doesn't really make a difference. The reason that's important, the reason I'm even bothering to note the range of these is that you want to shoot at the target that's furthest away first and then you want to go for your you want to go from furthest to nearest because uh, you want ideally the best way to do this if you can have it work that way is uh, to have your uh, torpedoes go off almost sim simultaneously which almost never will work but <laughs> it reduces the risk though that the enemy will be able to evade your shots and the or the destroyer is looping back, which seems to be his general behavior. Now he's on the right side of the convoy for us, but I feel like we've got a square shot at these two. So I think that's the ones I'm going to shoot at. I would like to take a shot at the medium cargo here, but I don't think that's going to work out. We could use the aft tube, I suppose. That's a possibility, but... What I should do is 
ID these guys. Get the scope under. And click like a madman. There we go. Lock on him. Bang. Lock on him. Ba bang. And on him, just on the off chance that we get an opportunity. Okay. Now, I'm going to start computing a solution because I feel like it. That one's the furthest away. So we're going to go to him, which is the wrong way. All right. Getting a little bit of motion, and that's going to make ranging these guys kind of difficult. He's pretty far away, too. Um, I might have us proceed a little bit further. See if we can get a little bit closer in the amount of time that we have. Probably don't have terribly good position to be doing this, but I'm actually going to do a turn. Yeah, we're going to have to take the shot. That's actually a lot better. Okay. Oh wait, that's not the one I want to shoot at. Derp! That's it there. And we're having the same problem. Shit. Oh, that's a little bit irritating. Losing lock exactly at the moment that I'm getting a good solution. <laughs> God damn it. It's going to make speeding this guy out really tough, but on the other hand, I know that he's going basically um, seven knots. So We'll give it a whirl. I don't think it's going to work. He's almost exactly even with us, too, which is nice. Six knots, that's um, within tolerance, I suppose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch two at him and two at the other one. And try to get in position for an aft shot, but that may not work out. trying to rearrange him. That's actually probably good. Okay. So we're going to use impact pistols. Running a little bit shallow. Shallower, I should say. Opening the tubes. And firing one. And we'll put one just a little bit ahead because I'm not too sure about the solution we had with the speed. Oops, we'll do that. Okay, numero two. It's hard to do a second shot with your aft tube just because of the fact that you move so slowly. Oh, these guys are roughly equidistant. That could be a little bit of a problem, but and he is again almost exactly square with us. Oh, you know what? I forgot to set these as impacts. Running a bit shallow. And again, we're going to notch that up a bit. That closed for some reason, negating the whole purpose. Whatever. All right, now we're gonna try to uh, get into position for a shot on the medium cargo, which may not work. There's a warship directly over there that could make things a little bit complicated, but we'll work on it. Um, let's see if we can see how these are looking so far. That one is a little bit, I'm not feeling very confident about that one. And the reason is, well, I don't know. I just am skeptical, I suppose. Okay. Well, let me look at this again. 
So it was that one and then that one there. If memory serves me right. Not seeing our other torpedoes, but that's okay. Let's see if we can see them on the TDC screen. And it's going to take a while for us to execute the turn, so it may be kind of a, a wash here, even trying to get into position, but there's those two. I wonder why I can't see the other two. Kind of the angle of the sunlight is making it a little bit hard to see, but... Oh wait, was that something? Yeah, I can't tell. Whatever, we're just going to pretend like we can't see the torpedoes on the top of the surface, so... We would come about anyways in this situation. So it's not like this is completely unrealistic, but... Well, not unrealistic, just... It's not like it's a completely terrible idea, I guess. And it looks like we have misses on all of these, actually, just looking. Oh, no. I'm hearing scary noises. Something got hit. Didn't come up with a freaking... Well, that got hit for sure. What the hell is going on? Oh, that one definitely missed. Okay, I'm kind of getting a candle on what's going on. That one missed. What about here? I can't even see the other shots that we took. I'm so confused. Am I just completely... Oh. Okay. What the f... I'm <laughs> so confused about what we're supposed to be hitting, I guess. We hit something and I thought I saw somebody's stack go dead. I'm high on drugs. Well, he got hit twice, I think. Just flying around here, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Not really good at keeping track of my shots, I guess. Well, we should actually dive, because we're not even close to being in position to fire, so... I should actually have us go east. Because that sounds like a good idea. Well, not exactly sure what I did there. <laughs> so I kind of am confused about what happened to those two uh, shots that I made, but I think we hit something with two. I mean, we hit, did have at least two torpedo hits, uh, and it was on this one here. He seems to still be underway, but that could change. I'm not seeing any... Well, it's too dark, so I can't tell. Anybody else get hit? You? You? Have you been hit by a torpedo today? That's a pickup line that I use often. Um, and I get rejected often. By both ships and women. Don't tell my wife I said that. Alright, we're just gonna keep on puttering along and hope that we don't get hunted. It looks like this here was a destroyer. He completely bypassed us. He has no freaking idea. So, that's good. Um, not hearing any... Oh, we got a she's going down. Let's see which one that is. And... Oh, we did hit two targets. Oh, good for us. Oh, I... Oh. Ooh. So, here's what happened. Either I'm an idiot and I ended up shooting at this one instead of this one. But either way, we hit two large merchants. So, yay, my ineptitude paid off. We we managed to hit both, well, two. I'm not going to say both of our targets. We managed to hit two targets, whether or not we wanted to or not. But um, two large merchants, that's great. That's uh, 20,000 tons, uh, whether it was by accident or not. And really, that's, you know, all's fair in love and war, as the bard says. I don't know if that's actually Shakespeare. Is it Shakespeare? I don't care. Um, the thing about convoys is that if you miss something and you manage to hit some other target, that's great. That's why convoys are such a delight, is that even if you miss, you have an opportunity to hit something else that's in the next line of the formation. So 
Go team! Great job, guys! Um, I'm going to actually put us northwest, and the reason I'm going to do that is because we have three aft torpedoes, and I want to use those. So um, once the next convoy ambles along, I'm going to launch a shot at them. Uh, now, in real life, they would change course because there's obviously a U-boat lurking here, but whatever. We're going to just go ahead and take our shot and hope that it hits and hope that we don't die. 20,000 tons in the bag. I don't know what bag that is. I don't keep a bag with me when I play this game, but metaphorically speaking, we do have an additional 20,000 tons, making this not a complete waste of a patrol. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So uh, we're going to wait for the next convoy to come down the conveyor belt, and in the uh, tradition of I Love Lucy, we will probably horribly bungle everything.